Okay, so as per usual, we need to create a new comp, 960 by 540, 24 FPS, and a duration of 10 seconds. And let's call this main. And uh, we need to load our first layer of particles. So I'll go to new, uh, solid. Let's call this particles one. And we can go to effect, trap code particular and by default we get this ugly thing so we need to change this up let's go to emitter settings and let's set the emitter type to uh, box and we need to change the emitter size x y and z to be larger than our current resolution so we are currently running uh, 960 by 540 so if we set the X size to let's say 1500 it's gonna be uh, off frame which is good and for the height we'll set this to be 8000 and then the emitter size Z this can be something in between those two values so something like 600 is fine so now we have all the particles across the entire screen if I go to the particle settings, we can set the size to 35, set the sphere feather to 0, the opacity to just 25, and the opacity random to 25 as well. So we are just trying to create uh, some variation and uh, that's always a good thing. Okay, I think there are too many particles here. So if we go to particles a second control, we can set this to 25. So we have a lot less. Now, I don't like how we have to wait for the particles to show up. At frame zero, I, already, I want there to be particles on the screen. So if I go to uh, the emission extras, I can change the pre-run to 100. So now it looks like this. By the time we're at frame zero, particular would have already calculated one full cycle. And this is much better, I think. Let's say I set the life to just two seconds. And let's also make them fade in and fade out because right now they just sort of appear abruptly and fade out or just disappear abruptly so if we go to opacity of a life we can set this to this uh, default graph which fades in stays on for a while and then fades out so now when i play this we have this animation I think this is too fast though, so I need to change the velocity from 100 to perhaps 35 or thereabout. But uh, again, this is just personal taste. You can have this as fast as you want or as slow as you want. Okay, so this is the first layer of uh, particles, I think. I'm gonna insert a new background though. So call this layer BG. Let's put this below the particles. Go to effect, generate, and ramp. And let's set the ramp shape to radial. Let's make this white. And the end color to be black. Uh, not black, but like a dark gray. And let's uh, push this down and just bring this down a bit too. Okay, I think this looks really interesting. And then from here, we can duplicate that first layer of particles. So let's call this particles two. And we'll set the size to something a bit smaller. So maybe just 10. And uh, we'll set the random seed to be different so that they don't just overlay the previous layer. There's also gonna be more of these, so let's say twice as many. So if we set the particles a second to 50, we end up with this. 
And again, this is just personal taste. You can uh, bump these numbers up or bring them down depending on what you prefer. I'm gonna maybe increase the life to three seconds but I will leave that uh, fade or maybe if we use the linear fade just for a different look and uh, we'll set the transfer mode to add sometimes when the when two particles intersect this uh, transfer mode will change how that looks uh, sometimes it doesn't uh, the change here is so minimal you don't even notice but uh, most of the time it does Okay, next up I will duplicate that layer for a third, I think I just duplicated the effect, not the layer. Let's see, yeah. Let's duplicate the layer. And uh, the particles a second, we're gonna have 250. Uh, maybe even more, but uh, for now let's just leave it there. The size is going to be one and the opacity is going to be 100% opacity random 0% and uh, we will set the particle random seed to be different also maybe a size of 2 is better and uh, for the opacity of life I'm going to choose this graph down here which uh, as they die out they sort of keep flickering back to 100% and I'm also going to add more flickers by just dragging my mouse down through this so these are going to be sparkling the entire time and I think that's a really cool effect I think I can maybe do with more large particles though so if we have 35 instead of 25 it just fills in some of those gaps and if I hit play we have this really awesome particle background so you could actually render this and save it as one of the backgrounds you use in projects and uh, you can also do one other effect which is gonna make this look even, uh, even cooler if I duplicate this comp, I mean uh, pre-comp everything and call this particles 0, 1 I can duplicate go to effect blur and sharpen and let's have directional blur and maybe blur strength of 50 so we have streaks coming off our current particles like this and that's actually a really interesting effect and you can change the the direction of this to 90 so now it's sideways and uh, you could actually just have this on its own and that also would be quite an interesting effect and if you want to boost the alpha you can do that simply go to color correction and levels go to the alpha and uh, just bring this back and uh, you have something else so it's just um, about experimenting and seeing what you can come up with and uh, yeah the potential is endless so thanks for watching I hope that gives you a uh, just I don't know a direction as to where you should start and how you should set up some of these uh, layers and it's all about layering things and uh, the more elements you can put in there the better I like the rule of three personally which is why I had three layers but uh, anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial bye